Details in the Butte County Jail expansion in Oroville. At 5, we walked you through the construction progress there at the site so far. Now, new at this hour, Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper tells us what makes this facility different than the first one and the staffing plans as well. The 96 new bed spaces currently being built as part of the Butte County Jail expansion will allow the facility to house a total of 710 inmates. Now this unit here is going to house about six inmates. There's not a whole lot of room in here. I've been told it's about 300 square feet. And then this one over here is going to house two inmates. This one over here is 77 square feet. Butte County Sheriff Corey Honey says the expansion is necessary to provide better care to inmates who have physical and mental health issues, which is why a medical ward with 38 beds is also being built, as well as substance abuse treatment plans. What we're finding is that one, uh, when people stay in our custody longer, there is more need for uh, medical mental health services as well as programming services, which this facility will also have. Sheriff Honey says over the years, he's seen the need for mental health services jump. This area over here is a common space where inmates can hang out during the day. I've been told there's gonna be some TVs here. You can see some of the boxes those TVs are gonna be hooked up to. And then over in this area is gonna be a classroom. The Sheriff's Office is currently looking to bring on more correctional deputies to run the new jail incentivizing with hiring bonuses. And while the jail still has a little over a year left until it's finished, Assemblyman James Gallagher came by yesterday to talk about future hopes. So we spoke a lot about what this facility will allow us to do moving forward. Uh, he expressed uh, a lot of support. And we're glad to have that. Ultimately, if some of the changes that we're hoping will come about with regard to Proposition 47 come to fruition, uh, we will have a place that we can uh, implement those changes and hopefully enhance public safety throughout Butte County. On Assemblyman Gallagher's official Facebook page, he posted about the tour himself, expressing that the project is crucial to upholding law and order. Honey says they are now working on figuring out the internal structure of the jail, like where to place which inmates. Lauren Cooper in Oroville, Action News Now. Later and Sun Construction says due to the wet winter, work got delayed by about four months, but they've managed to work it back up to only two months behind. The company projects the work will be finished by fall of 2025.